statement. I shall now make a statement in my capacity as the representative of the Russian Federation. Distinguished colleagues, we are grateful to the Special Representative of the Secretary General, James Swan, and the Special Representative of the African Union and Head of Amazon, Francisco Madeira, for their thorough briefings. We listen to the information provided by the Head of the European Union Delegation to the UN, Ambassador Olaf Skoog. We welcome the participation in this meeting of the Permanent Representative of Somalia, Abu Bakr Asman. We studied closely the latest report of the Secretary General. Somalia is continuing to progress through the election process. Elections to the Upper Chamber of Parliament took place in October 2021, and voting for the Lower, par lower Chamber is in full swing. We trust that soon the country will be able to conclude the electoral process in accordance with the Somalia-wide agreements of the 17th of September 2020 and the 27th of May 2021. We urge all branches of the Somali government to resolve any disagreements that arise exclusively through dialogue. We welcome the contribution made by the African Union Peacekeeping Mission and your office, Mr. Swan, in resolving tensions within the federal government of Somalia at the end of December and the beginning of January. We urge UNSOM to pay more attention to preventing these sorts of situations, including through interactions with regional administrations. We hope that all participants in the Somali political process will continue to work together to establish a resilient model of federal governance in the country. The territorial integrity and unity of Somalia must be preserved. The security situation in Somalia remains tense. We are concerned by the notable intensification in the activities of al-Shabaab, which controls vast swaths of the south and centre of the country. Its fighters are continuing high-profile attacks that cause many casualties, including terrorist attacks in cities and attacks on the positions and bases of Amasom and the Somali National Army. We note some the, the efforts of the Somali government and the efforts of other countries in the region in the fight against terrorism, which is a cross-border phenomenon. We note some progress in discussions over the shared position of the African Union and the federal government of Somalia concerning the future security architecture in the country. We await the report on the outcomes of the work of the International Quartet on preparations for the mission's new configuration, its updated concept of operations, and the roadmap on logistical support. We call for a balanced approach to Amazon's reconfiguration. It is extremely important that the opinion and priorities of the host party be duly taken into account. Handing responsibility for security to the Somali army must take place gradually, step by step, depending on the real situation on the ground. We are convinced that in the present conditions of the ongoing terrorist threat, talking about the drawdown of the African peacekeeping mission is premature. We agree with those in the region that the priority should be ensuring sufficient, predictable and sustainable financing for the mission. We stand ready in the Security Council to consider various options for providing additional support to the efforts of the Somalis and Amisom from the international community. We urge the UN and international and regional partners to continue to support Somalia with strict respect for the sovereignty, territorial integrity and political independence of this country and without interference in its internal affairs. Thank you for your attention. And I resume my function as President of the Council.